Hi, welcome to the Wiener and Lamka video blog. Today's topic is uh, on the issue of the family car doctrine. Now, you may not know a lot about the family car doctrine in Washington, most people do not, but it's uh, pretty simple, um, but at the same time fairly important. Essentially, uh, there's a jury instruction that reads, a person who owns, maintains, or provides a motor vehicle for the use of a member of his or her family is responsible for the acts of that individual in the operation of that motor vehicle. In other words, if uh, you as parents have a couple of children and they become driving age and you have a, a vehicle that you just allow them use of with your permission, you are now responsible for anything that uh, they may do um, and incur legal responsibility for while they're drivers of that vehicle. Uh, your insurance will cover you, that's not the issue. Uh, what is the issue here is that you, as an adult human being, um, are now responsible for a 16 or 17 year old's conduct. This of course applies to any family member, uh, it, 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 they don't have to be a minor, uh, but the point is this, how can you escape from or prevent yourself from being put into that position? And the uh, thing that you want to do here is uh, uh, have, if you, if you want to have a vehicle for one of your children, or again, any family member, uh, you want to uh, have it be their vehicle. And that means that they own, well, they cannot own the vehicle until they're 18, uh, but you can still own it as long as the uh, under 18 year old member of your family pays for the vehicle and pays for the insurance on the vehicle, pays for all the operational expenses of the vehicle, and also has exclusive use of the vehicle. So it, it is not a family car vehicle in the opposite sense that, you know, because you also can use it, um, it now becomes a family car vehicle and, and the liability, liability will latch onto you as well. Uh, so the point is, um, if you're going to have your kids driving, you can either accept the fact that you are now personally liable for their actions, which means if they hit somebody, they can sue your child and you, just as if you were that child, and reach your assets. You should have greater insurance to protect yourself, uh, you know, from uh, those circumstances. Or, and, or, you can also um, take steps to uh, eliminate your personal liability by making sure that you do not maintain uh, that vehicle. If your child's over the age of 18, then they can also be the registered owner. Uh, but even if, again, even if you are the registered owner, the family um, car doctrine won't apply to you as long as you are not the one who is the um, de facto owner of that car. And, the, and that means that you don't provide anything for it. Uh, I've had questions from uh, clients who say, for example, have a, uh, an adult child that they provide some support for and they're concerned that the provision of that support, if it goes toward that adult child, uh, um, you know, paying for their vehicle, that they could have liability attached to them. And that's a reasonable question. Uh, my suggestion in that uh, particular circumstance is, is that provide them support, but be more specific when you do it. So say, you know, I have provided support, but only for rent because then you're not doing anything with the vehicle and the family law doctrine can't uh, have you added into a case in the event that um, your family member um, negligently causes someone injury. Uh, thanks very much, family law doctrine. You can also find information about this uh, in our written blog uh, as well as the website.